Yes, yes. Welcome to Rasco and Disco's beer review with me, Disco. Obviously, no Rasco because lockdown. He's over the other side of London, as I keep saying. Now, talking of lockdown, it changes things a little bit. All rules are out the window. Well, not all rules. There are still some rules, but I've never really done that much drinking at home. I'm also normally all about going out drinking. So during this lockdown, I've got loads of beers in, but I don't really have a session or anything. I just have a couple of beers and see what they like. Because of rules out the window, I'm thinking, well, why not? Why why can't I just have an all-day session? A little bit of all-day drinking. Then I think, what about beers for breakfast? Would that work? Should I? I don't know. Um, I remember I'm thinking, like, you know, back in the day when you used to have, like, holidays with the lads and the lasses when you was young and that, you'd go out and there'd always, always be somebody that would come down and have fosters on their frosties or whatever, you know? And um, the only time I've ever done that, I don't really have beer for breakfast, the only time I've ever done that was that one time in Ibiza in my 20s, like, and come down after a big night out in the clubs sometime late that afternoon, have an all-day breakfast and a pint of San Miguel. All that did was put me on San Miguel for life and definitely don't have beer with a fry-up. Never have. Uh, more recently, I probably uh, had a few beers earlier on in the day on like long trips, football trips on the train and such forth, but I'd already had a breakfast beforehand. But then I'm thinking, well, hang on. Beer and cereal. Beer is effectively cereal anyway. There's grains and, and whatever in a beer is constituent part. So why wouldn't it go well? And especially now, as we've got much better beers, we've got breakfast stouts, breakfast beers. I mean, I know that doesn't actually mean that you should drink it for breakfast, always drink sports beer, no, but why not? Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Could work. It's not the maddest thing. I mean, it's a little bit daft, but it's not mad. So obviously, as you can see, I thought, well, I've got these beers in there. Now, Bateman's Mocha was the original breakfast beer that we used to have on the train. Lovely coffee, taste, mostly chocolatey. Um, obviously, uh, not putting that on me cereal because it's 500ml, so that's far too much. Uh, so, I'm thinking one of these two because Broken Dream, the original breakfast stout, it's one of Wolves, GBBF, and it's almost a benchmark for breakfast stouts for me. Um, but I'm thinking that might not work. So I'm left with this. Breakfast toast from 71 Brewing uh, up in Dundee. Uh, I'm not sure they'd be happy with me doing this with, with, with breakfast beers, beers for breakfast. But here it is. Now, I'm sure I've had this back in the day, uh, a long, long time ago. Um, so I've got a whole bunch in. Uh, it's only 4.5%. So it might just work. So here it goes. Bad ideas. Now I haven't got cornflakes, which would be the archetype I want to do for that, because although they're nice uh, on holidays now and again, they're a bit bland. I'm not doing frosties because there's far too much sugar. So I'm going for this. Lovely little pillows of chocolate and grain. Well, it's a good sound. It's a good look. Yes, I did just pour a perfectly good craft beer over me breakfast cereals. Let's see how it works. Cheers. Despite all that bubbly sound, that's smooth. It is proper smooth. It tastes quite short, and it's not as good as milk, but with the grains and the chocolate in the cereal, I'm not doing this every day, but that works, it really does, I'm not joking, that works. I've got to finish this bowl now, I'm not going to do it on camera. Let me know what you think. 
breakfast out for breakfast? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, that's good. That is really nice. Absolutely work. When you drink it like that, by the spoonful it comes out a little bit thin and it's not. When you drink it normally, it's proper smooth. It's got a good coffee taste on it. That's just a very good breakfast stout. It is. That's a contender. It's a little bit strange drinking at this time in the morning, but I'll leave you those sorts. I'm going to stick with my breakfast. Cheers.